But watch this, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you, so watch this. Watch this, <laughs> read, where you at? Romans seven, watch this. This is the book of Romans, chapter seven and verse 12. Yeah. Wherefore, the law is holy. So the law is what makes us holy. Remember he just said, thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The law is what makes us holy though. Right. We, everybody don't shave their beard. I mean, everybody shaves their beard. We don't. Right. Everybody's women wear pants and tights and all that stuff outward. Our women don't, they modest. Right. They, say, right. they, they save those things that are precious on their body for their husband in privacy. Right. 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 Imagine that. Imagine that. What? Watch this. And the commandment, holy. And the commandments of God is what's holy. <clears throat> That's what's holy. By the way, it's nothing, it's nothing holy about a cross, by the way. Bring it out. Right. Nothing holy. All these churches, the holy cross, all that stuff, that's all demonic. That's, right. that's the worship of our Lord being put to death. That's what that is. Not the resurrection. You understand? Not the sacrifice that he made for our sins. Meaning, we have the chance to get ourselves together because we left off from keeping his laws. We sinned against our God. His death and resurrection is why we're able to repent now and not be put to death by, by the Levites, not be stoned to death. That's called grace. Right. They're not teaching us that. They say continue in sin. That's right. what they say. But we're reading and we all like to go back to, um, go back to um, Deuteronomy. They teach us, or we all like the part where we say we, we, we are holy people. We are great people. We above everything. We like, yeah, black power, black is beautiful, all of that. But what makes us beautiful? Look around, is this beautiful? This is called ghetto. That's right. It, it, by definition, you can Google it. By definition, ghetto means a place where the Jews dwell. Right. Right. But guess what? Where are the white people around? When you go to, when you go, no matter where on this planet you go, you see these type of places and they're full of our people. They don't put it on TV. They don't put it on TV, it's hidden. But we travel all over the world and we see for ourselves where our people live and it looks just like this. I see a brother over in Iran or a brother in Palestine look just like my brother sitting there right now. And he's suffering the same curses we read about in Deuteronomy. Right. Right. He's suffering the same way. Watch this. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6. Read. For thou art holy people. So what make us holy? What make us holy? Come on, we just read it. Go back. We'll Watch us. this. You got okay. You got it. We'll make us holy. Keeping God's laws. Come on. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Keeping God's laws. And guess what makes us greater than all people? Keeping His laws. You see that? Watch this. Judith chapter five verse twenty. I'm gonna show. I'm gonna prove that, and I'm gonna prove that the other nations know that. That's why they want you. They said, you know, they set these up. We didn't. Our people didn't set these up. They set these up, and then they say, come through seminary school. And it's been happening since 1619 when we got off the slave ships. It's been happening since then. You understand that? They, you have to go through the slave masses to be able and be taught what to teach the rest of the blacks. It's no different. They just call it seminary schools in these days, theology schools in these days. And you have to get that degree. You have to get that. You go through that passage, which is set up by the same people who brought us here in chains right. to be taught what to tell the rest of his slaves. It's no different today. That's why they teach you to sin. That's why they will never teach you in these places tithes is done away with. Tithing, that's done away with. They'll tell you get all the tithes you want because they know you're black and suffering poverty. Right? So money is a way he will, all these black people who hate God, they will sell their people. That's easy. But as long you can keep this establishment set up as long as you don't teach them the laws of God. Teach them that those are done away with. Watch this. This is the book of Judah, chapter 5 and verse 20. Now, therefore, my Lord and governor, if there be any error in this people. So this is, I'm going to give you a backstory, right? This is one heathen general, meaning outside a nation outside of Israel. That's what heathen means. So this is one heathen nation talking to another heathen nation as to how to conquer 
these black people called Israelites on this hill. So they're considering, right? It's called war plan, right? Watch this. If there be any error in this people and they sin against their God. Uh -huh. And they do what? And they sin against their God. Hold that. First John three and four. If there be any error in this people and they sin against their God. Let's find out emphatically in the New Testament what sin is. Watch this. This is the book of First John, chapter three and verse four. Bring it out. Whosoever committeth sin Come on. transgresseth also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. Sin is the, tra turns out that even in the New Testament, the laws are not done away with. Yeah. Wow. Watch this, go back to where we was. Now, this is the war plan, right? Two heathen generals trying to take us over, trying to conquer us, trying to put us into slavery. Right? This is an Ammonite, which is the modern day Japanese, right? Speaking to who else was there? So, uh, some, some, I think Moab, Moab and Ammon was trying to put us, that's Chinese and Japanese today, trying to put us into, trying to destroy or conquer us, right? Watch this. It's the book of Judah, chapter 5 and verse 20. Yeah. Now, therefore, my Lord and governor, if there be any error in this people and they sin against their God, let us consider that this shall be their ruin. That's what, that's how we will ruin them. Watch this. So how, so, so wait, just quiz, right? Pop quiz. What is it that the nations know if we do, we'll be destroyed? Based on what we just read. Say that again. What is it that the nations know? The nations know it. Mm -hmm. if, we, if, if the Israelites do what? It, they will be destroyed. If the Israelites know, I, I really didn't get. You trying to put? I'm sorry. I might be asking it all bugged out. Let me see. So, what is it that the heathens know that the other nations know about us and how to destroy us? Okay. What the other nations know is that. If we keep the commandments of God, uh -huh. then, how can you put it? Uh, what the other nations know is that if they, if, if we don't follow the commandments that yes, God sir. put in place, yes, sir. they have the power through the enemy to tempt you to do wrong. That was, I like how you put that. I like how you put that, especially being, how do they tempt us? How they tempt us going tempt us? against God's law. No, well, we got God's laws. Right. But they trying to tempt you by, by going against his law. And what is that called? Well, that being disobedient. Sin. It's called right. sin. Well, sin. Sin, right? right? So watch this. I'm going to read it again. Watch this. The book of Judah, chapter 5 and verse 20. Really? Now therefore, my Lord and governor, if there be any error in this people and they sin against their God, let us consider that this shall be their ruin. This is how we would destroy them. If they sin against their God, we have the power over them. That's right. God will not defend us. That's right. God is not with us if we're in sin. Right. Watch this. Read on. And let us go up and we shall overcome them. But. But. It's the other side. Come on. If there be no iniquity. If there be no sin. Watch this. In their nation, Come on. let my Lord now pass by. Keep going. Don't even look that way. You do not want problems with them people. Right. You don't want to smoke with them people. That's, That's what right. he said. Keep going. Move. Walk past. Right. Right. Walk on by. Right? Watch this. You remember that? Walk on by. Du, 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 du. That's what he's telling them. Walk on by. Don't even look. Don't even look. You don't want that problem. Right? Watch this. Lest their Lord defend them. Uh oh, lest who? Lest their Lord defend them. So when we read the Bible, right, modern day, 2023, we read the Bible, we see it, we, 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 yo, the Israelites, yo, fire came from the sky, yo, it was chariots up there, the Lord coming out of a cloud, a pillar of fire by night, a cloud by day, all these miracles we see, this is what, what it looks like when we keep the commandments. That's what it looks like. And we're reading our history. We didn't even know it. That's right. We didn't even know it. So we didn't know we were the ones that had to keep the commandments for that power.
That's why I say if they keeping their commandments, if they're keeping, if they're obeying their God, there shall be, listen, the walk past. They God going to defend them. They God going to be with them. Nation is men leading by example. 